One of the unique pieces found here in Knoxville, Virginia, the American's Wartime Experience Open House, is a valentine. Now, it's not that valentines are inherently rare themselves. They were mass-produced, and in fact, they were mass-produced just north of us in Canada. But what is a little bit rare is finding one in good condition, especially in the United States. They have one here. It's a Mark III with the early two-pounder. And this tank, of course, would be used to replace the infantry tank Mark II, Matilda. Now, if you look at it, first thing you wonder is, well, how is this much of an improvement? Because you're still looking at a two-pounder gun. The armor is actually less. The top speed isn't any faster. Well, what your changes are is really your effective speed. Now, this was still an infantry tank. It was still de designed to support foot soldiers in combat. But because the engine was much more powerful and the suspension was better, what they found was, in actuality, this vehicle was much faster than a Matilda, even though the top speed was rated the same, because you wouldn't lose speed on the turns. You had that power reserve. You had a better suspension. You didn't have to slow down over obstacles, which meant that this tank, which was known for bulletproof reliability, ended up being a much better tank. It was actually used partially as a cruiser by the British when they were short on cruiser tanks. Another odd feature about it is the driver's hatch at the front. Most normal tanks have a hatch on top of the driver's position that you go down and you slide forward. This, the hatches are to the sides, which is a little bit unusual. I've never actually read as to why they did that. But there you go. Come to Noakesville, Virginia and see a valentine.